Good morning, Marge, and this is Roger. Um, hope you had a nice Christmas. This morning, I'm going to um, try to capture uh, logging into your site um, and using the, uh, especially the uh, Duda um, store editor. Uh, so bear with me. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to, in our browser, dudamobile.com. Uh, that pulls up um, their home screen at Duda. And this is where you would normally log in and you would hit a login, but um, the login is cached on my computer. So I will um, hit my sites. Um, as I said in the last video, um, these are many sites that I've got here, but you'll have just access to your site and it will look like this right here okay and then i click edit and it'll take me to the new duda editor and um, i'll just walk you around the editor quickly uh we'll spend more time on the basic editor later um on the left you have the new editor has uh, a menu on the top, you've got a uh, menu. You can always switch to the old editor. But quite frankly, um, I'd like you to stay in the new editor unless there's absolutely a necessity to go back to the old editor. Um, here's a, a, a menu of pages. You click that, and you can go to the pages on your site. Um, these are the three device templates. This is um, the um, uh, desktop. This is the tablet. Shows the home page, what it would look like in the tablet, and shows what it would look like in a mobile. Um, going back to desktop, um, I'm not sure. Info and tools. Let's click and see what happens. Okay, site name. Um, I have never used that. I always go through the menu on the left to do that. Um, this is to um, uh, undo your last edit, to redo your uh, last edit. Uh, a preview, if you click preview, um, it gets rid of the menu and it uh, acts as a browser so you can look at what you've done uh, instead of looking through a menu. Um, back to the editor and um, here you can access uh, development. I'm not sure that I'm going to give you access to that because that could really, really mess up the system. Um, so probably won't give you access to development, uh, which is the actual code that displays the HTML and the CSS uh, for the entire site. This is where you republish after you make a series of changes. You want the rest of the world to see those changes. This is where you do it. Um, question and answers, and uh, this takes you to the home page. Actually, no, this takes you, I'm sorry, this takes you back to your dashboard. Okay. Now on the left, uh, we've got one, two, three, four, five, about eight um, selections. One is the global design, uh, global text, global buttons, global images site background tablet and menu layouts um i'll just click through through those quickly so you can see how the format set up global text uh here's the font i chose source sans pro uh size 16 uh color black uh, i have not bolded or italics uh the reading is always text decor direction is from the left and links are underlined or options uh, font weight normal font uh, a line height is a line and a half that's all default okay um, in each uh, uh, site there's uh, an element called and we'll call these elements and i'll just try to refer to those in the future these are elements um, a global title element is H1 in size, is 48. Um, global uh, title uh, is 
36. Um, the H3 global title is 32. Uh, the H4 global title is 25. And H5 is 24. And H6 is 20. So there you have a range of font sizes, uh, font names um, for, for all your different size um, uh, fonts. This is set in the global design, so you don't have to do it on each, each one. You just uh, select an H size. Pages, this is what controls the menu structure. Home page, tires, you can see it as I read down here, you'll see it go across here. So um, if you look at tires, then under tires, you got part worn, new tires, winter tires, wholesale tires, tire services, you got fitting services. Notice the wheel alignment and portionality pages. Uh, if you click on these, uh, you can hide. Um, those pages in the menu they're still on the site but and they probably can be searched by a search engine but uh, they're not in the menu and not accessible except maybe through a search engine search um right now they're they're hidden to unhide them i just say show all and it brings it back um okay mod inspections um, mechanic services. These are sub items that come down in the drop down under about us. Uh, location, the other one is hidden. Um, quick estimates hidden, and then store and contact us. So that's the menu structure. And in each one of these, you can click in here, change, rename it. Uh, you can hide it on all devices on, on every device or hide it on a selected device uh, you can duplicate it for an example if you wanted something different um, showing different on the mobile than it is on the desktop or tablet you would duplicate it first and then you would go and hide because um, it duplicates it in all devices then you would go and hide it on the desktop and tablet, and then go into the other one and hide it on the mobile. <clears throat> so you now have, you can now go in and change the uh, the one on the mobile, and it'll only affect the mobile. Um, page URL, I'd like you to not mess with that. Um, uh, give you an example. Just click on page URL. That URL is tire dash services. And um, this is the page title of it. And this is the description of it. And then key words can be put in there. <clears throat> OK, enough about the menu. Um, of course, you can change the color of the background. You can change the color of the sub menus and so on. Widgets, um, better term, I call them elements um, because due to support, always refers to them as elements rather than widgets. But this is basically a drag and drop system, okay? Uh, so I want to put a new paragraph in. I, I drag it to the area on the page. And in this case, in this area, it asks me if I want to put it in a, a new row or I can put it in an existing row and then it'll just say insert here. Uh, let's put it in a new row just uh, so it's easy to get rid of again. Um, now it's given me a highlight area and it's given me text um, inserting a new paragraph. <clears throat> oh, spelling is incredible. Paragraph. Um, in a new row okay i'm done with that paragraph i click yes and now we have a row with a element called paragraph 
Um, and if I go in and, and here's a floating menu so that I can adjust that paragraph in terms of color, font, size, uh, position left or right, put bullets, put it in bullets, and so on. When I'm done, I click on that. I now have a paragraph. Uh, if I want to, for instance, add a column to the paragraph so that I have two columns, uh, then I can put another um, paragraph over on the right hand side of that same row. Okay. Um, I can another paragraph. <clears throat> okay. Um, and I can add up to four uh, columns. We'll call them columns because that's what they are. Um, and but a maximum of four. If you need more than four, then we have to go into floating uh, some elements um, left, and uh, that gets real tricky. It's a lot of uh, CSS work. Okay, get rid of a um, couple of uh, columns, or in this case, I want to get rid of the whole row, so I say. Okay, row is gone. Uh, more widgets. Uh, you can add an image, uh, add a video. Uh, you can add a store search. This is a store search up here. Um, small title, that's an H3. And generally, I, I've made um, the titles of every page an H3, so they're consistent throughout the site. <clears throat> uh, continuing on, um, popular. Um, of course, text and image uh, icons, uh, click to call for the mobile, uh, a map, uh, image slider, image gallery, a button, um, HTML code. You can actually uh, put uh, an element um, called HTML, and you can go in and, and um, put an element in there, call it uh, HR line. You can update. And um, let's see if it showed up. Uh, forget about that. I don't see it there. Maybe it needs to be a different color. I don't know. There it is. Okay. Uh, background. Let's make it uh, red. Okay. Um, and let's make it uh, okay get rid of the color spacing um zero okay let's as long as we're in spacing let's talk about that uh each element um has the ability to space it uh the internal part is padding the external part is margin uh if you go into the top you can make more padding make it 10 Click down here, you can see what it does without losing the menu. Uh, I'll make it under 10 here, okay, um, and so on. If you make a 50 here, this is called margin. Okay, that puts that puts more space on the outside of it. Gives you an idea what spacing does. <clears throat> I'm going to delete that row. Okay, um, back to widgets. Um, there's quite a few widgets here. You can insert single column row, double column row, three column row, and four column. Here's your media section, your image, your image sliders, uh, global gallery, icons, video, and a business section, and uh, social media section, advanced section, and the store. <clears throat> I could add a main store right on your home page if you wanted to. So let's do that quickly so you can see can't add more than one element to the same page oh okay um not sure on that try that again widgets i want to add a shopping cart oh i see i've got the shopping cart here Main store categories. 
or store search. I have to think about that. Um, now let's go to uh, personalize. That's uh, has to do with insight um, capabilities where you can specify rules and um, then you can put rules to the page and if somebody comes there the first time you can give them a certain message the second time they come there they don't they don't get that message uh, and there's a whole bunch of rules take a look at that see if that interests you there's a blog capability um, add a blog I won't go into that we'll make that another video settings um, these are all the global settings um your favorite con that's this well let's go up here and click on that let's call it uh family okay that favorite con is the little icon in the tab as it comes up come on come on waiting for there it is right there that's a favorite con back to the editor um some site See, that's something we need to talk about is putting the whole site under SSL. Um, I think I'd like to do that, and um, I have to look into that. Google Analytics, header information, header HTML, I think I'll handle that for you. Um, cookie notifications, that's all in the settings area. Okay, let's go into the store. Okay, store is here. Um, add categories as of uh, sub pages. These are some of your categories. Uh, we could add them as sub pages. I haven't done that yet. Not sure I want to. Here's some few FAQs area. Um, here is uh, manage store. This is where I spend all my time manage store. What it does is it takes you right to the um, items listed in your store. Right now, um, there should be, let's look at this, page two. Um, let's see, I thought I had an item list. Um, let me look at it this way. They're showing 100 items and you can select um, 50 items, 25 items, and so on to show. Um, you can export all. Um, you can import. This is what I've been spending a lot of time on, import. This is how you import. And there are three formats to import. I use CSV, and I click on choose a file. That's another site. Let's go to your site. Go in here. Go to store. Uh, the last one that I've imported was on the 21st. Due to listings here. Okay, you select that. You leave comma limited alone. You skip the first line because that's the heading line. And what is set here is name, SKU, description, category, price, quantity, page title, meta description. Um, so basically you import notice this is very important if you click this it will clean out everything in the store and start over do not click that always import uh, do not delete all products <clears throat> but if you import then you uh it comes up and it says it failed for some reason it failed so you go in here and look and it says um an error occurred during import, error, wrong columns count. You have selected 10 columns in the import dialog, but the file contains only seven. Well, evidently, I'd gone in there, and um, let's go in and look at that again. Um, I think I added these, and because I don't have page titles and descriptions in there, now I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I'm going to go look at that file. Close this. This. 